I feel like I know lures pretty well. And uh, this don't look right, because that looks normal. That's a normal looking frog. Oh my goodness, look what he did to the legs. Yep, what I say. I'm more of a butt guy, but I'll take these legs. Look how skinny this guy is. Holy crap, dude. No wonder you ate this thing. What's going on ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. If you haven't already and you're new, go ahead and hit the subscribe button, turn it from red to gray. Hit the ding dong notification so you'll be notified anytime I drop future videos because I do a ton of giveaways and those giveaways are always in the description. But today we got an interesting one. I've got this bait right here. This bait is from Cream Lures. It's like the OG soft plastic maker. They made like one of the first companies, if not the first company to make a soft plastic. And it's a little topwater frog. It's got a hook in it. I'm gonna be honest, I don't even really know how this thing's gonna work. I've got one, I've already got it rigged up. This one's still in the pack. We're gonna leave it in the pack. But this bait was sent to me by a subscriber. And he basically said, look, I got a weird one for you. I wanna see what you can do with it. We'll turn this way so you can actually see me. Even though probably you don't wanna see my ugly face and that's fine. So we're gonna load up the kayak. We're gonna go down to my little pond down here. We're gonna see if we can't get bit on it. I'll be honest though, it's really weird. We're gonna show it to you on my when I get you on my chest when we get down there. This one's gonna be interesting. Hang tight. Let's see if we can get bit on some fish. Go ahead and hit the like button for me. And please, 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 please help out the channel. Watch the video all the way through. Don't skip ahead. If you watch the videos all the way through, it really helps the ratings on YouTube. And uh, this video may potentially, you know, go further in the YouTube world, but you gotta watch the thing all the way through. It just helps the channel out. I appreciate everybody. Let's go to the water. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So let's break down this frog real quick before we get completely started here, because it's a, it's a little weird. You're probably gonna either correct me on this or I, I don't know, I, but I'm gonna tell you, I feel like I know lures pretty well and uh, this don't look right but it's pre-rigged like this like the hook comes out of the bottom of it it's got a little wire bait keeper or a hook keeper there i mean if, am i supposed to fish it like that where it's upside down like i would have thought it would have come out of the back but maybe it's using the weight of the hook to stay right side up we're gonna fish it this way only because it's pre-rigged this way out of the box uh but if we start missing them or it just doesn't work we may flip this over where the hook comes out of the top and just see how it goes um, but that just that doesn't look right to me but that's the way it comes out of the box all right we're going to start at this back corner um, i don't know if y'all can hear it but i've got a little bit of wind you can see the ripples on the water got a little bit of wind blowing at me so if i get as close to that bank um, it won't be as wind blown uh, when i'm throwing this top water unless it's like a whopper plopper or something i really want it to be as smooth like glass water as possible so we're going to start in this back corner to give ourselves the best chance. The reason that is for anybody new, uh, the more wind you have and the more chop or whatever on top of the water, the less likely they are gonna be able to see that bait or hear the splashing from that bait. So I kinda want it to be a little bit more smooth. We're gonna go with that hook upside down. Let's see if we can get bit now. I mean, it really doesn't look terrible going through the water. I'm just worried about the hook placement being upside down. But I mean, we should be, and look, see, here's the other thing. Look at this. Look at that, it's sliding down the hook. So that could be a problem. Makes me wish I had a little bit of super glue. I'd super glue it to the top. Oh. Oh, geez, we had one blow up on it. I'm all wrapped up on the end of my... Oh, my goodness, look what he did to the legs. Wow. Wow, that's not a durable bait. Look, look. Number one, look where the hook is. Like, the hook, it came way down. But look, he's missing his legs now. Like, that leg's about to come off. That, did, that was one fish. And we didn't even get him. But you can see, he had it by the back legs. Wow wow that didn't last long at all nearly legless frog our frog has definitely had its feet amputated and i have a feeling if we get bit again he's gonna have his back legs amputated got him 
Got him. I got that one. Oh yeah, he's destroyed the frog. And it did go about like I thought. It did go exactly like I thought. So he's hooked in the bottom lip because of the way the hook is. Hold on, homie. So after one fish, look at it. Look at the middle of the bait. So the hook was actually like in here like this. Okay, that's what it originally looked like. Look, it's completely out now. Like that's, that's no good. We're gonna flip it over. We're gonna come out of the top of it. Like I thought it should be in the beginning anyway. Um, we've got no legs. The legs are gone. They're actually over there floating. I don't know if y'all can see the little white thing. We'll go over there and get them. This thing's falling apart by the minute. Let's see if we can get on one more fish for this thing. And I may go home and get like a topwater, like an actual frog that we can fish with. But I can confirm this thing does work. It's just, wow, it is not durable. Yeah, here's his legs. Oh, I'm more of a butt guy, but I'll take these legs. I mean, these fish are gonna have to have the attitude of a small mouth to bite this thing. It looks like nothing now. Like it's, it's literally just an upper torso. I think we can get bit though, for sure. I don't think it's terrible, terrible. Yep. What'd I say? What did I say? Just as I was saying it. Little guy. I mean, he is tiny. Teeny, teeny, tiny. All right, I'm gonna let you go because you're angry. Yep. Now, question is, can we use this thing again? Mm, I don't think so. I don't think so at all. Its face is, is chewed up. Let's just take a gander. Look at that. I don't see how I use you again. Maybe we can get three fish with this thing. You know what? Who's to tell me I can't? I think I might be able to. I mean, we're working with a torso, but I, I got high hopes now. Does not look good at all, but we're gonna give it a shot. It's all about hitting in the grass. I feel like coming right out of the grass with it, they're gonna hit it just off the grass line because they're still tucked up in the grass. We are getting like a little bit of a haze in the sun, which is helping us a ton. I think this area that I'm in is perfect because it's just, got another one. Ah, another little guy. Look how skinny this guy is. Holy crap, dude. No wonder you ate this thing. You gotta be hungry. And the other ones looked healthy. You do not look healthy. Look at your belly. Dude, you need to eat. You need to eat something for real. You are thin. You've got the head and shoulders right here of a one pounder at least. And I bet you're half. Good Lord, I feel bad for you. All right, I'm gonna let you go. Go find some food, homie. Wow. All right, did we rip? Okay, so we've ripped all the way up the back now. That's where we're at. Telling you, they're getting on top water right now. It's cooling off with that sun being in the haze where there's no wind right now. We're in the perfect spot for top water. And I've got a frog that's a quitter. All right, folks, so that's gonna do it for today's video. We got on three fish. I was hoping we could get that fourth one, but just wasn't able to pull it off. Unfortunately, the legs just, they gave out on me. The hook gave out on me, or the hook actually did really well. The weed guard on that hook was legit. Like I didn't really get snagged at all. Uh, but the uh, soft plastic, that foam soft plastic deal that was going on, not really doing it. Um, it just broke down on me pretty quick. But if you liked today's video, go ahead, smash the thumbs up button. Let me know in the comments what you thought of that bait. Have you ever used that bait? Um, it, a lot of people haven't heard of cream, which is crazy because cream is like the OG of soft plastics. And uh, would you use that bait? That's the other thing I wanna know. Have you ever used it or would you use it? As well as what are your thoughts on it? What Did it meet your expectations? I think you can pick these things up for like $2 or less. Um, if I remember correctly, you can get them at Walmart. Uh, but it's a really unique little bait there. Um, so what I want you guys to do, if you've liked, left a comment, and you are subscribed, go, if you haven't already, hit the red subscribe button, turn it from red to gray, and hit the ding dong notifications, because I'm gonna give this one away. Um, in the next video. So all you gotta do is look in the description of the next video. But if you're not subscribed and you don't have the ding notifications, you, pro you could miss the next video. You probably will miss the next video. So go ahead and do that and I'll send this one right out to you. 
Um, you just need to get with me on you know, Instagram, Facebook, DM me some way, email, all that's in the description. Uh, get with me and uh, I will ship it out to you, but I'll announce that in the next video, um, like I said. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this one. I had a lot of fun. I always enjoy a good topwater blow up, and we did get some of those. We gotta go to that pond with an actual like frog and do some damage. I've got a thing coming from Wish, the Wish app, um, that I want to uh, get here quickly. It's been like three months, and I still haven't gotten it yet, but it's on the way. It's just stuck in China. Y'all know how the Wish app works. I've got some stuff for that pond down there that I think you guys are going to be super interested in, so stay tuned for all that. Hope you guys are enjoying the content over here, and uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Later. Later.